Okay. So bear with me for a minute. Just trying to get this thing started up. Okay. So it looks as though everything's working the way it's supposed to. So we'll just see how things go. What was this? So, I, like I said, still kind of getting used to this whole streaming thing, but figured to be uh, something fun to share with you guys. Uh, so today, after about you know four months or so, oh, hold on one second, let me fix something. That should be better. Sorry. If that was loud and noisy. I didn't have a chance to do any tests or anything ahead of time, so that should be better. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, like I was saying, uh, it was probably about four months ago now that I was able to purchase a uh, new Form 3, and it was originally scheduled to ship out to me back in September, so a couple month lead time, but then that ended up uh, getting pushed back an additional 8 to 10 weeks until uh, this very afternoon when it was delivered. Um, I have not opened this up yet. I have not seen what's inside any other unboxings or anything like that, so this is going to be a first for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just really kind of excited to jump right into it. So, I think this actually showed up yesterday, so I kind of knew this was on its way here. Um, and this is, I believe, the accessory box, which has, a, if it's anything like the last time, the resin, the finish kit, and all the accessories that are in it. So, I'm just going to open this up. cartridge. Form 2, Form 3, and I believe I ordered gray. And you've got the build plate, which identical to the Form 2. We've got the resin tank, 
Form 3 resin tank, which this is completely brand new and redesigned, which is why the uh, Form 3 is what it is now. Uh, a power cable. And a finish kit. Which is, again, it says Form 3 finish kit. I'm not sure if it's any different than the Form 2's. Looks pretty much the same. But, let's take a look. Well, it's 100% identical. Um, yep. And on the inside, they're kind enough to, uh, to include a bag of uh, gloves to start with pry tool. This actually holds the build plate so that you can pry the material off. A newer, smaller scraper than the last time. Uh, this is new. I'm not sure. 12, 12. Tank tool. Remove cured resin from the resin tank. Separate tool for our spatula function or combine for tongs. Hmm. Well, that's new. I guess it's just get pieces of stuck resin on the build tank or uh, on the tank off. Um, more gloves. Uh, the diagonal cutters, which are super helpful. Flush cutters, I should say, sorry. Alcohol squeeze bottle. Uh, cleaning pads. Peck pads. And tweezers. And this is the tray for the alcohol bath. Yep, so pretty much identical. Aside from this new deal. To the form twos. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Um, gotten through this kit so far, but yeah, as far as the actual machine goes, yeah, there's some pretty huge differences. Um, the biggest one, from what they say, is being what they call low force stereolithography, which, because this new built resin tank, it's actually flexible on the bottom. And so what that allows is for a lot less force to be um, projected as the, as the uh, piece is being peeled. Um, and from what I understand, that alone makes not only the finish quality a lot higher, but it also enables um, fewer supports or not quite as rigid supports. So that, that's the whole thing about this is that the supports are theoretically supposed to just snap off with very few or very little um, uh, spots where you have to finish down or file down, which was one of the big gripes I had with the other one. So if it fixes that issue, that's going to be huge because that means I can actually print even smaller and more detailed parts, which is handy for me because I'm always doing really tiny buttons and fine detailed pieces that I wouldn't normally, would normally take a lot of the extra finishing work to make the way I wanted. Gray version four, one liter. Cool. And then we have the build plate, which again is 
pretty much identical. Oh, but that's nice and clean. Even though, unfortunately, that's not exactly what you want with these type of prints. The more this gets scratched up and the more it gets dinged and everything, the better the, uh, the adhesion is. system and everything on it. Do not use tweezers. Do not use scraper. Huh. No, I don't really see this, but I mean, it's just in the lighting in here is terrible, sorry. But yeah, it's a, that's a pretty cool tank. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a reason why I didn't uh, tell you to do those because I kind of ended up redoing them. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the socks off, Shock. You have no idea what these legs look like underneath these socks. It's a medical condition. <laughs> All right, so I'll play with that a little later. Okay, uh, so we got through the accessories, and so I guess now it's time to uh, check out the party piece. This is a bigger box in the form too, that's for sure. start guide which is nice and USB cable safety cautions maintenance warning Allen key what the fuck do I need an Allen key for? and they got the foot leveling Okay. And as before, there is a massive amount of styrofoam in here to protect during shipping. <sighs> oh, this never gets old. Before they uh, put these nice little cardboard handles with inside the box, so all you have to do is lift. Wow. That just looks cool. In theory, all you have to do is lift. Oh, Jesus. There's a vacuum. Come on. Yeah, there. Ow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is a completely different machine. side table here is still not big enough. Huh. Yeah, if I have to build an extension, oh well. But. Hmm. 
<laughs> Hijacking my chat. <laughs> Just as well as some of the conversation going on in there anyway. stuff. Release LPU housing. Well, they got all sorts of cool stuff in here. Yeah, this thing just looks huge though compared to the other one. Alright, so the question is how to get it out of the styrofoam inside this housing. Yeah, what else would you do? I'm gonna put this on the floor so as it doesn't get there faster than I anticipate if I drop it. Oh, that's how to do it. Okay, that's actually pretty. Holy shit. completely flat interface and screens all built right in power input and everything I assume is probably over here yeah. okay. well, I think I need a bigger disk Yeah, I know. There'll be a 2021 there, though. Follow the instructions in the quick start guide to release the shipping latch before connecting the printer to power. Okay. And I did read about there's a shipping latch put in here to avoid... This is how it goes up. Is that flush with the... It is. Well, that's a neat piece of hinge work. No kidding. Oh, it's got that new printer smell. And the thing I like about this, too, is this, this setup is completely different right here. Because on the inside, there's just a giant cavity. There's no mirrors. There's no glass there's nothing that needs to be uh, protected or runs the risk of getting scratched it's all right into the resin tank now and there's a modular laser base on the inside which now uh, houses you know the mirrors and everything like that for the for the lasers so this is uh, this is something pretty cool um, just adds to the reliability a lot more what's it saying Yeah. Yeah, I'm using the blue mic now. Does it sound all right? <laughs> no, no. Is that is that the president or the pope? No, one or the other. Oh, orange. I, I just got it. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Just, just clicked. Going to printer. Supreme leader. 
Oh, good. Well, I claw you. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm going to roast the shit out of you the next time I see you in person. You've been building it up so much. It's a good name for a portable, though, the Clowning 64. That'd be perfect. Okay. All right, so that's that little latch they were talking about. So caution. Disconnect power, locate the latch on the LPU housing. Loosen A and remove B. The thumb screws and the LPU latch. Okay. Store the thumb screws and latch with the original packaging. The LPU must be secured when the thumb screws and latch during any printer transportation. All right, so it's just these two little thumb screws down here. That I guess the L yeah the LPU is what I was saying is the the housing for the lasers. And they got just these nice little wow those are actually <laughs> Ooh, the coolest little thumb screws I've ever seen. Yeah, that's that. That's like a nice blue and. Pretty neat. <laughs> oh, God. Sick bastard, Chuck. <laughs> Gotta get out into society a little bit more, man. <laughs> Plenty of other people out there you could blow shit off on. Store with the original housing. Done. Okay. That means this can come off. Maybe. Five watchers, yay! Used to being in the room with like four of us or something, and all of our channels are going into one, and you get maybe 15 at that point. I don't know, no, all of that was supposed to come off, don't just some of it. I can see why these take a while to build. Holy crap. There is a lot of assembly in here. <laughs> Some kind of project. Whoops, or gunk that fell down in there. Oh. That's a new type of mechanical latch on that thing. At least it looks like it. I don't remember there being three tapped out holes on that side. I gotta, can't recall that I ever really looked at the other one anyway. At least not that close. Set screws. A hyper small N sixty four laptop. That sounds like it could be fun. Alright, so now that I've removed that. Oh really? Don't need that type of residue on this thing? That's just that. Okay. All right. And what's my 
actual serial number on this thing. <laughs> I have gotten the Form 3D printer by the name of Artful Fish. Right on. <laughs> I don't know if that's any different than the last one I got. It was Ceaseless Quail. <laughs> All right. So, quick start guide. All right, let's take a look at that. Safety guide, read first. No. Remove the latch. Done. Set up. Hmm. That's really quick. Okay. So. Put that in there. Oh, I should be able to at least get that a little bit closer to the wall now. Is can I open this? I can. God, you guys are awesome. Yes. Right. Everything is awesome. on the touch screen. Okay. Insert before printing. Oh, okay. Oh, tricky. This lid off, take the handles, mixer, film, case, slide mixer. Oh, these are sealed. And this is going to be what they call the mixer now instead of the wiper bar. The wipe. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. Okay. include a full plastic case on the bottom and a cover on the top. Alright, so it's 
to say. Place mixer flatten tank with arms facing mixer case on left. Mixer will only sit flat against tank film if oriented properly. Something new. Sensors. Don't touch that either. Don't touch that. This makes a flattened tank with arms facing mixer case on left. Slide the mixer into the case until the arms click into place. Oh, I see what they're going to click into. Okay. Oh, I thought I did. This isn't making sense to me. Hmm. Hi, baby. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Are you live streaming? Yeah, it's okay. Here. I just, I, I just put the tail in. Oh, yeah? I see. Yeah. Sorry, Daddy's trying to figure out his new toy. Why? Why? Where's that? That's my printer. <laughs> printer? Like in the water? Yeah. <laughs> where's the where's the new chair go? My chair's out there. It was in the way. Where? <laughs> Come on, sissy. Let's get you ready for next. Yeah, brother's already in bed. Prison tank film platform resin cartridge. Okay. Uh, let's see how to put the resin tank 
in. Even though it looks pretty straightforward. And it doesn't look like I have to take anything off the bottom there. I don't think. There is some film on that, but well, it's connected to rollers, so I can't take that off. Not going to. Well, instructions. Yes, I did. It looks kind of cool. I still gotta get a three at some point. Oh, from here. I think I saw it. Okay. Fixer film case. Tank surfaces of film which must not be punctured. This advanced film technology enables the low force telephotography print process. Do not puncture film, do not touch bottom of tank. Okay. So, that's a pretty rad looking tank. Oh, they got a float sensor now for the, uh, for the resin level. That is a little bit better than the capacitance one they had last time. Looks good. Okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, Joe. bigger volume but I can already see I put a thumbprint on there though damn it yeah. barely touched that too See if this bite valve actually works. Gray. Okay. Oh, there's
to empower on Extension cord. Right, just plug it into this one as long as I don't turn off the lights, it should be fine. Congratulations on your new form lab printer and begin set up first begin. Okay. Yes, I have removed that. Scanning for available networks. Yeah, I gotta put that in. in here and just used it the other day. got an insanely long Wi-Fi password and never changed it, so let's just stock a generic right out of the box. There it is. All caps. Nosy bastards. So I need to do some leveling. Not much. But this is cool because it tells you which way you actually have to, uh, to turn the wheels. It's really neat. that turns very easily because I'm backed right up against the wall.
the walls. Prison tank is installed. Cool. <laughs> Avoid contaminating the underside of the resin tank with fingerprints or liquid. Didn't say anything about the top. Oops. And that's already in there. That's already locked down. Good. Yes. 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 This is set up online by entering the code in this screen. So formlabs.com slash setup. Okay. <clears throat> kind of wishing I uh, had my chair in here. Four-digit code. Zero. Let me find out. Okay. All right. Printer. Full fish was successfully registered to dashboard. Cool. Initializing printer. So that'll probably happen though after I start a job. Though. But damn. Alright. Hmm. That was a fairly easy setup. How was it? Yeah, 50 minutes or so from when I started the stream to now. Yeah, I gotta 
Now I gotta clean up this mess and then get things uh, ready to do a print or two, but. Hey, it's working anyway, that's a good sign. I don't have any files or anything that are ready to do a print and it'll take, yeah, forever for the uh, resin to load into the tank. I mean, normally what I do is just open up the tank um, or the cartridge and dump it in there ahead of time, but it's probably going to be a little bit quicker with this uh, float sensor as opposed to the capacitance sensor in there. So that'll probably work a little bit better. But yeah. I think I'm probably just going to end this now then and um, just kind of play with it and post some results later. I mean, I'd stay on, but there's really probably not a whole lot of interest to just sitting behind a computer, so. All right. But anyway, thank you guys who are here to to watch and I'm sure this will be uploaded onto my YouTube feed before too long. Didn't have any music playing in the background so I shouldn't have any copyright infringements. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, um, I think we're just gonna end this right now and We'll talk to you guys later. Uh, am I going? Yeah, no, no bald spot yet. Doing all right. Okay. Take it easy, guys.